Hey, what's up guys? Brad here. So today we have a brand new product, Speed Duel Trials of the Kingdom. This is, I believe, an early unboxing. I think the sneak peek is out today, so this is probably going to be one of the first boxes you'll see on YouTube. Big thank you again to Konami Europe for providing this for this opening. And uh, this set is really cool. Some cool cards in this Floodgate Trap Hole. There's a Waking the Dragons. And there's a ton of other really cool little tech cards. Uh, Dark Scorpions are in as well, so... um. I'm not too sure about the skills, I know there's a Zombie Master skill which is going to be pretty cool to see, and I believe a skill for Weevil, so we'll have to wait and see, see what those are, but let's get this box opened and see if we can pull anything good. Okay, so there's our Speed Duel box, let's get this thing properly opened, the packs looking really really nice, put you in the corner, 36 packs in a Speed Duel box, which is uh, kind of crazy, but um, crazy is good. So let's take a look and see what we can pull from this set. So we have, that's going to actually, let's zoom in a little bit closer down here so we can put the cards down. We have, so we have Warline Ritual. I remember this card from one of the first premium packs. Girochin Kubogata. Mario Kaito. And our first super rare, Jurak Helio, or Jurak Hera, sorry. So you'll notice from Duel Links and from, I believe it was, and I believe it was Duel Terminator Arsenal. So pretty cool. We're finally getting this card in speed duels and I just realized I'm kind of like my shadow is over the uh the cards I do apologize for that but um let's see where we go with our next uh next pack okay so I just decided to sit down for this one so I do apologize if uh if the audio is going to be worse but you know there's no now glare from uh from the camera so let's dive right into some more packs and see what we pull so we have a flint shore knight Waking the Dragons are common, and our ultra rare Floodgate Trap Hole. There we go, that is a very, very nice Speed Duels, a very stable card in Duel Links. Now coming into the Speed Duel format, and that's really good to see. First two packs, two hollows, really, really good so far. Okay, third pack. Okay, so apologize for the lighting change, we just kind of made things a bit easier, so it's a bit better for uh, you guys to see. So... Sasuke Samurai, Soul and GHQ, Change Slam, a card that's just come out from OCG. And we have Sealing Ceremony of Suiton, which I've never actually seen before. This is a um, a water support card, okay. Felt kind of like a ninja card, but it's not. It's a water support card, so that's pretty cool. On to our fourth pack, I believe. Yeah, fourth pack. So, uh, doing fairly well so far, and I can see we have a skill card for Bandit Keith. So, uh, first up, Tail Swipe, Flint Lock, Warline Ritual, now skill. A switcheroo coming from Duel Links into Speed Duels. That is really, really cool. And, of course, my camera doesn't want to focus. So, uh, let's see if we can make it. There we go. Activate the skill during your main phase. Once per turn, you can shuffle one card from your hand to the deck. Then draw one card. Also, flip this card over once per duel. or twice per duel skill. That's pretty darn good. Pretty good. So, honestly, three packs in. And we've got you know, five packs in. And we've got three hollows. That's really, really good. So, our next pack is going to grant us with a Cyber Raider, Iron Draw, surprise that's a common, that's pretty cool, Hermit River Combat, and an Ancient Brain. Our next booster will contain a Shore Knight, a Bloodsucker, Waking the Dragons, and again, a Sealing Ceremony of Suton. I feel like that pack was very, very close to one we opened about two seconds ago, so, uh... That is one of the problems with these sets, is that they do have uh, not many cards in them, so in a 36-pack box, when opening a full box, you do tend to uh, get a ton of, like, repeat packs, especially when there are no rares in the set, and everything's just kind of common. There's no, like, there's not enough variation, I feel like, in this, but again, it's some pretty cool new import cards, and Kairu Shin being one of them, this is... A card from the anime that, you know, was in the OCG for a very long time. Finally comes to the game now. And Black Magic Ritual, which I think means that our boy Magician of Chaos is going to be an Ultra Rare. Which is a really nice thing, because Ultra Rare in the Legendary decks. So, a repeat rarity there, but that's still not too bad. Iron Draw, Skull Knight. This card, I remember this card back in the day in Metal Raiders. Used to always pull this. Merokaitai and Flint. Next up, we have... We have the Ancient Brain, Drax Spinos, Patrician of Darkness, and the Tainted Wisdom, so we can now, from that pack, make our Skull Knight, which is, a uh, pretty pog. 
Next pack, Share the Pain. Very, very nice little tech card in Duel Links. Uh, Soul and GHQ was used for, uh, for some warm member decks, Karyu Shin, and Tail Swipe. One of my favorite things about Speed Duels in TCG is that it's carving its own path from Duel Links. Ooh, we got a Rex Raptor skill. We got a Rex skill. Okay. Double Cyclone, I'm surprised isn't a super rare. That's really cool to be a common. A Despair from the Dark, Marikaite, and we have Dino Destruction. What does this guy do? Doesn't want to focus, so that's great. Activate this skill during your main phase. Once per turn, you can choose one level 6 high Dino you control. This turn, if you activate this monster, inflict piercing damage. Okay, so it's a once per turn piercing skill. Honestly, that's not terrible, especially with the Drag support in the set. That's not too bad. Um, the fact it's done as only is a bit of a shame, but I can see why they want to do that. Uh, weather, Sasuke Samurai, and Helping Rope of Combat. Next pack we have... Metal Armored Bug, oh boy, Ancient Sanctuary, very very cool card. Black Terror, Bloodsucker, and another Patrician of Darkness. Right, come on, can we get... One more holo for this side, that'd be pretty cool, we have like four packs left for this side of the box. Waken the Dragon, Black Magic Ritual, Energy Drain, and Tutan Mask. I remember getting a fake version of this when I was a kid, so uh, that's a pretty fun little memory, going to Spain and getting some fake cards put on Tutan Mask and thinking that it was uh, the coolest thing in the world, but uh, it's not that great. Giant Mech Soldier, Change Slime, Kirochin, and the Legendary Fisherman 2. This is actually... A reprint from Legendary Duelists 1, and I believe that's a rarity upgrade. I think before it was a super, and now it's an ultra. That's interesting. I didn't know, like, I haven't seen any, any of the rarities for these cards yet. I assumed Floodgate was an ultra, but Fisherman being ultra as well, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Super War Lion, Sasuke, and Iron Draw. Final pack of the right side of the box. Let's see, can we pull anything? Now, final pack for this side. The answer happens. To be no okay so let's clear this stuff up smooth these out of the way move these commons out of the way because you guys have sinned pretty much the entire set now i think in common and we have our uh, legendary fisherman 2 there all our hollows now let's get started on the uh the good old left side of the box and see if we pull anything good okay so well we the Oh, Surface is super rare. Wow, that's pretty nice. Tiger 1, level 3, level 57 aqua in your graveyard. Special in defense mode. That's going to be very, very nice for my uh, Levia Dragon deck. That's going to be a very, very nice card. It's a very cool, that's a super rare. I can't remember what rarity that came in in TCG, but uh, that's pretty nice. It's now super. Crazy fish. These Konami, if you're watching this, because I know they, uh, they've said they might want to watch them and stuff. If you want to import uh, Tatsuno Toshigo, it's a uh, level 5 beast, uh, half horse, half fish. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be a very nice uh, thing to do. Would uh, love you forever. Energy drain. On to our next booster pack. Metal Armored Bug, Pushing of Darkness, Direct Spinos, and Jerk Hair again. So a duplicate, super rare. I believe that's the first time in a speed duel box I've ever had a duplicate super. So, um, yeah, I'm sure you need two for the deck, or more than two, but, uh, would have been kind of nice if we would have seen some other supers than the ones we get duplicates of. Uh, that would have been a lot better for me, and probably for you guys, if you guys haven't seen the set yet, this will give you a bit more of a, uh, a look into what you can get. So, uh, a good mix of cards, honestly, from, like, the, uh, the late Arc 5, the late 5 Ds era, and early DM, you know? Flint, I think, was Flaming Eternity, uh, GHQ's uh, Rising Destiny, and uh, yeah, some cool stuff in this set. Okay, next booster pack. Hopefully you guys don't mind it all being kind of like off screen, I just kind of prefer the cars to be center frame. Don Zalug is an ultra rare. That is very, very nice. This card isn't even in Duel Links yet, and I honestly, I don't know why. Like, I'm guessing because it does promote a deck house strategy. But, really, when are you going to be dealing piercing, or when are you going to be dealing damage with him? I don't know. So, it's a cool card, and I would like to see if it does see play in Speed Duels. It'd be cool to see someone rock up to some Speed Duel locals and uh, get some Ws with Don Zalug, because uh, it's 
been a good while since we've seen that card see play, even in the TCG. Then, nothing new in that pack. On to our next one. I think we have like seven or so packs left. Again, absolutely nothing new in that one. Oh, we have a Mako skull. I didn't even know Mako got a skill in this set. Garochin, Black Terror, Crazy Fish, and Terror from the Deep. Okay, I did know about this one. Uh, activate this skill during your main phase while you control Kairu Shin. When the skill is activated, you can activate Umi from your hand, deck, or graveyard. While you control Kairu Shin, all water monsters you control are unaffected by trap effects. If Kairu Shin is destroyed, draw two cards, and then flip this card over. Wow. And it's not a once per duel skill. This is the cool thing about speed duels, this skill in particular, is that with the skill system, they're like trying to make it so that you want to play cards the anime characters used. Like, uh, Rex has a skill for a Serpentine Dragon uh, in the uh, in the star decks, and that card like never saw play, but that deck in speed duels was actually pretty good. So, definitely a cool little uh, thing I'm just doing here. I'm just going to kind of go through these pretty quickly because we're now over the uh, the 10 minute mark. I don't want to keep you guys for too, too long, but I do want to see if we can pull any other speed duel hollow cards. The answer is probably no. We have two packs left, three packs left even, to pull. The zombie master skill. That'd be very, very nice. Let's see. Nothing there again. Second to last pack. Let's have a look. What can we get? Not a skill card. It is going to be... Ooh, Time Machine is an ultra rare. Wow. That's pretty cool. We've done pretty great with this box, honestly. Like, aside from that Zombie Master skill, which is probably the, uh, the skill I want to see the most, we did really, really well. And again, nothing there. So, let's, okay, let's not throw the cards on the floor. That's not the uh, way we go about this. Let's do a quick recap of all the hollows we pulled and uh, see how we did. So, for supers, we pulled two copies of Drac Hera, one Surface, one Down Destruction skill, and one Terra from the Deep skill. So, that's five super rares. And we pulled five Ultras. We had our one Ultra Skill Switcheroo, our Legendary Fisherman 2, our Don Zalug, our Time Machine, and our Flaggate Trap Hole. I feel like that's pretty good ratios for Speed Doors. I know back in Arena of Lost Souls, it was like maybe six Supers and four Ultras, so I think we did pretty good. Only one duplicate, and in general, the skills we got are pretty decent, so I'm uh, very happy about that. So let me know what you think of this set down below if you want to see more Speed Door content on the channel. I'll hopefully be bringing you some Speed Duel duels at some point soon, so that should be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one's video. Thanks, Konami, for this box once again. And I'll see you all in the next one. And just, like, just, just look. Look at this mess. Look at it. It's horrible. Thanks for watching, guys.